Welcome to Thursday PE class, everybody. Come on in. The water is just fine. Dinger's in the house. Good morning there, Dinger. What time you got school? I don't know if there's any other teachers in the world that start off class with a little drumming. Third fastest, Knott's Berry Farm, Dinger in the House, the Landy family, the Rich family. Come on in, everybody. Absolutely. Welcome. Good morning, Prospect Dugout. Good morning, Dominator. Captain America is in the house. Welcome in. Don't forget to check in with your nickname. We are rocking some trivia today. There's going to be a trivia contest because it's Thursday. Check in with a nickname and what you had for breakfast. The shirt's untucked, no, no, that's looking funky. Running around the bases just like a spider monkey with the average eye contact, just not acceptable. Vintage ball cards are gonna be collectible. To have some real fun, you don't need approval. Sliding with the wrong leg, it's gonna be brutal. Talk about some milk with the vitamin D. Got a couple of big doubles that is gonna knock right into the seats. Welcome in with a nickname, what you had for breakfast, McBomber, Diossi, Liz, Mom and Dad, we've got trivia because it's Thursday. Way to go. Good morning from Giancarlo Stanton. Good morning, everybody. Billy D's in the house. Harrison Green, the Jays fan, had grilled cheese. He's in the house. Let's go ahead and get started in one minute. How about that? One minute, we'll get started. Go ahead and start marching. Captain America, Knott's Berry Farm, start marching to the music. Good 
stuff, folks. Welcome in three claps. One, two, three. Clap, clap, clap. Arms high. Smell the armpits. Penguin and Pickle have checked in. Lando's in the house. Nala in the house. My neighbor down the road can hear me playing the drums. Dude decent. Not dude perfect. Dude decent. All right, Quinter's in the house. Touch your toes. Don't pick your nose. We've got a workout and then a trivia contest because it's Thursday. So much fun trivia to do. Spread out wide. Smell your knee. Sniff it. Other knee. Sniff it. Side to side. Tuck that shirt in if your shirt's not tucked in. Welcome to the PE class here, folks. Coach Ball Games PE class. Every day, Monday through Friday, pick those strawberries. Go. One, two, three. 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 On to the bee honkus butterflies. Make sure you check in with your nickname, what you had for breakfast. Get those butterflies going. Make a V, touch your left phalange. Add a boy, add a girl. Over to the other one. Both of them. Modeling pose, left leg out, right foot across, twist and look behind you. If your back pops, say, oh my lanta, as loud as you can. And then hug it in. Hug it in. And switch. You can tell we're going quickly. I want to save as much time as possible for our trivia. Hug that other one in. I love you, knee. Downward facing dog. Good job, Nala. Good job, Dinger. Knott's Berry Farm. Lando, Captain America. Upward facing dog. Good job, Billy D, Blue Jays fan. Good job, Giancarlo Stanton and Dominator. Donkey kicks. 10, 9, 8, here are 5, 4, 3, here are 1, other foot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, here are 3, 2, one, very good. Up to the feet, hustle, salute. Start running in place. A little faster. A little faster. A little faster. And freeze. Fast as you can. Freeze. Three claps. One, two, three. Eye black salute. Mustache salute. Beard salute. Mullet. Brad Pitt. Bounce back. Scholar. Double bicep. Triple bicep, quadruple bicep, sportsmanship salute. Tuck your shirt in, salute. Let's give all the fellas an attaboy, one, two, three. Attaboy. Let's give all the young ladies an attagirl, one, two, three. Attagirl. Nolan Ryan Jr. is checking in. Firestone's checking in. Switch. Wow, we've got a brand new nickname. Mr. Accessories is in the house. <laughs> Let's give Mr. Accessories an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy. That is awesome. Anytime we have a new uh, player at our PE class, we always give them a round of applause and a welcome salute. Give them an air hug. That's outstanding. Mr. Accessories. Ten jumping jacks. Ready exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Team meeting pose. So it's Thursday. As always, we have a trivia contest after our workout. The winner of the contest, I'm mailing you baseball cards. That's right. Baseball cards in the mail headed to your front door. Let's go staring contest for ten seconds. If you blink, you lose. If you talk, you lose. Stop. Round of applause. One minute jog. 
on your marks, get set, go. You can run in place or you can run around. Alessio is in the house. Super Henry is checked in. Judge Junior is checked in. Good job. I see you working, Captain America. I see you running, Nala. I see you running, Mom and Dad. Good job, Mr. Accessories. Firestone, a little faster. Soto, I see you running. Blue Jays fan. Cheese, JCAN25. Giancarlo Stanton. Jesse and the kids, I see you running. I see you, Quinter. Come on, Super Henry, give it all you got. Ten more seconds. And stop. Very good. Quick water. Drink, drink, drink. And we'll go ahead and ask our first trivia question. Right now, it's for one point. What is my last name? My nickname is Coach Ballgame, but what's my last name, real name? I see you, Dinger. Alessio, first to answer correctly. Fantastic. Alessio gets the point. The answer is low. My first name is James. My last name is Low. Hold on just a second here. On Facebook, can you see me? Just double check. I want to make sure that uh, we are working on Facebook. There we go. I think we are. Perfect. So uh, Alessio is in the lead with one point. Set up your four bases. This is a segment called Can You Beat Coach Ball Game? Trash can in the middle. I had an extra half a cup of coffee today, folks. So I don't know if Frank Stokes is going to beat me. I don't know if Jay Preeti is going to beat me today. I don't know if Lando and Lando's uh, mom is going to beat me today. Soto, what do you think? All right, this first one, five push-ups at each base. Don't forget to shoot the basket. On your marks. Get set. Go. Five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Five here. One, two, three, four, and five. And five. Four, three, two, and one. And five, four, three, two, and one. Did anybody beat me? Did anybody beat me? Wow, McBomber beat me. Welcome in, Susie. Welcome in, uh, Billy D and Kapazi. Knott's Berry Farm beat me. Nolan Ryan Jr. beat me. Nala beat me. Firestone beat me. I know. Tweety the Lovebird. We've got another uh, new camper uh, with us today at PE. It's Tweety the Lovebird. How about a round of applause? And that might be, might be my favorite nickname yet. Um, I had to log out on Facebook because something's going on. So I see you on Instagram. And I see you on YouTube. Mr. Accessories beat me. Captain America tied me. Double bicep salute. Nice job. Yeah, something's wrong with Facebook there, uh, Jay Preeds. So you got you on the Instagram. Very good, very good. Um, I want to go with another trivia question. Hope you're ready to go. Alessio is in the lead with one point. What is my home state? What state was I born? Stronghold, thumbs up. My first name is James. 
My home state where I was born is North Carolina. And Sheila Wright, uh, remind me, Sheila Wright is the first one that said North Carolina. And remind me the nickname there, Sheila. Yeah, I thought so. So Ryman gets that point. One point for Ryman, one point for Alessio at the moment. Uh, once again, Facebook's not working today, but we got YouTube and Instagram. So type on one of those two things. Back to the action. All right. Now, uh, this time we're going to go six push-ups at each cone. Six push-ups. And let me see if I can beat some of you folks that beat me last time. But before we do that, how many jumping jacks can you do in 30 seconds? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, did anybody get me today? I love it. We got another new camper today. Not Jake. Round of applause. So far, we got three new campers today. Not Jake. We've got Tweety the Lovebird and Mr. Accessories. Those are some great ones. Knott's Berry Farm with 58. Firestone 63. Soto with 55. These numbers are getting so much higher. Uh, remind me who uh, Lord's Brito is. What's the nickname there? And I'm sure I mispronounced the real name. Captain America with 50. Nice job, Cheese. Blue Jays fan. Nice job, Knott's Berry Farm. Great job, Giancarlo Stanton. Ryder with 44. Aiden with 43. Jesse with 36. Dominator with 40. Epic. Way to go, way to go. Mr. Accessories, nice work. Okay, six push-ups on your marks. Get set, go. Six. In the basket. Six. In the basket. Six. In the basket. Oh, is Soto gonna beat me? What about Captain America? Cheese? Ryder? Mr. Accessories? Done. Did you beat me, Super Henry? McBomber did. Welcome in, Lindsay. Firestone beat me again. <laughs> My mom said, yes, I was born in North Carolina, and I cried very loudly when I was born. Uh, way to go, Soto, Captain America. Nala, that's what I thought, Nala. Great job, Nala. Perfect. Okay, next trivia question. One pointer. What is the, what is one of the new campers that have showed up here today, nickname. We've got three new participants at our class today. What is one of their nicknames? And yes, Dinger, I wanted to play baseball the second I was born. That's why I was crying. Uh, Nolan Ryan Jr. Um, and Blue Jays fan were the first We've got Mr. Accessories, we've got Not Jake, uh, and we've also got Tweety Bird, right? We've got the nickname Tweety Love Bird. Uh, but the first one to do it, Blue Jays fan and Nolan Ryan Jr. So here's what I need. In 30 seconds, how many jumping jacks can you do again? Well, I go get the score sheet to keep score of our trivia. 
30 seconds. How many jumping jacks? Beat the number you just got. Go! I think the record last time was 63 by Firestone. I got 50. And stop. Let me know how many you got. As always, it's Thursday trivia. Wonder who I'm going to have to mail some baseball cards to. Not sure. Whoa, Nala with 73. Once again, great job by Soto, Captain America, Nolan Ryan Jr., Dinger, well done. 71 for Dinger. Mr. Accessories with 56. Giancarlo Stanton in the house. The Evan. Let me know what your nickname is, The Evan, because that might be our fourth new camper of the day. Wow, Blue Jays fan with 75. McBomber, nice job. Nala beat her old score by a couple. Bicep salute. Super Henry with 27. Jesse 36, Ryder 50, Aiden 38. I love it. We gotta go, we gotta get some nicknames there, Team Jesse. Jesse, Ryder, and Aiden. Let's get some nicknames going. We might have about 10 new nicknames by the end of it. And I need a nickname for you there, uh, Morrissey. I think it's Anya Morrissey. And Will Carden, you as well. So the Evan is Mike Trout. Is that Evan uh Hayfar? Let me know if that's it. Great job. Next trivia question. And now we're going three pointers. Three pointers. What is the name of the baseball player who won the MVP last year in baseball? And I'm going to go National League. National League MVP. Good job, Dinger. Who was our National League MVP last year? Correct answer is Cody Bellinger, and the first one to do it was Dinger. Way to go, Dinger. And that was our first three-point question. Christian Yelich won it the year before. Uh, yeah, 2019 was Bellinger, 2018 was Yelich. Now, Yelich could have won it two years in a row, but he got hurt. He hurt his leg. Uh, Penguin and Pickle, I see your answer in there. Uh, Harrison Green, you were just behind uh, the YouTube comment of Dinger. By the way, our friend Blue Jays fan, it's his birthday next Thursday, so he's going to be tuning in uh, live with us for this trivia contest. He'll be asking some questions and they might be Blue Jay related since he's a Blue Jays fan. Um, that's right, McBomber. Nice job. Okay. Dinger in the lead with three. A bunch of people with one. Back to the action here. Seven push-ups. On your marks, get set, go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And shoot the basket. I can see those muscles getting bigger. I can see those smiles getting bigger. Eight, five, six, and seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Did anybody beat me? I'm done. I'm done. McBomber got me. Yes, Alessio, I think you are correct there. Jason Harold is in the building. My old pal Jay. Dinger doesn't like the Dodgers. Cheetah and Sonic are in the house. Good to see you. Mr. Accessories beat me. Firestone beat me. 
Captain America and Dinger got me. Blue Jays fan Giancarlo Stanton got me again, too. Outstanding. Three-point question. Make sure you get a little water. Last year in the All-Star game, there was somebody. Yeah, we got a lot of Dodger fans and a lot of not Dodger fans. Um, last year in the All-Star game, there was one guy. Uh, it was his eighth. Uh, he was the most seasoned uh, All-Star there last year in Cleveland. Who was that guy? Who was at the All-Star game last year? For the eighth time, the most of any player at that All-Star game. Scherzer's a great guess. That he that was his seventh. Somebody had been there a year longer. Michael Brantley's a good guess. Mike Trout, I think it was his fifth or his sixth. We're getting a lot of Scherzer's and Trout's. Dinger likes the Padres. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks is in the house. Big Dodger fan. Bartolo Colon was not at the All-Star game. Kershaw's close. I think it was Kershaw's sixth. Not Bregman. Not Bellinger. Double check, but I have not seen the right answer. A lot of Scherzers and Trouts. Not Kershaw. Wow. I've stumped you on this three-point question. Here's your hint. I went 0 for 3 against him in college. And when he struck me out, it made me dry heave. His curveball went whoop. Ryan Sandberg, great guest there, Jason Harrell. It's not Nolan Ryan. Good guess, Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah, Nolan Ryan Jr. with the correct answer. Justin Verlander. Uh, Nolan Ryan Jr., that puts you up to four. You are now in the lead uh, for our Thursday trivia contest. Next up, it's polka dance time. You've got to do ten kicks in a polka dance at every base, but don't forget to shoot the basket. Remember, you're going to sit down on that toilet, hands in front of your chest, bang, 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 bang. Little polka music. On your marks, get set, go. Ten kicks at first. Three, four, polka. Yes, shoot the basket. Oh, man, who's going to beat me? Soto, Super Henry, Judge Jr.? Good thing my shirt's tucked in. Yeah! If you are tuning in for the first time today, you're welcome. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. P.E. like you've never seen it. You've probably never seen anything like this anywhere in your life. Oh, yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Shoot the basket. I'm Mr. Accessories, Knott's Berry Farm, Firestone, Blue Jays fan, McBomber, that one got me. Captain America. What's the nickname, Alessio? Alessio gets an honesty salute. She tied me. Super Henry, honesty salute, also with a tie. What's your nickname, Aless uh, Alessio and... Anya Morrissey. What are our nicknames? I see the handles. Ooh, we had a sportsmanship salute over there. Dinger, who uh, who finished second in that last trivia question, said good job to Nolan Ryan. And then Nolan Ryan Jr. said thanks, Dinger. Sportsmanship salute. If you say mean things, I kick you out, right? You can't come to class. If you say awesome things, we give you a sportsmanship salute. That's just my consequence, right? Uh, and uh, that's that's what ball players have to do. They got to be accountable. 
That's why you have captains on baseball teams. All right, the captain on my college baseball team, if I was out of line, if I was saying negative things, he'd let me know. My dad has joined in on Instagram. Has dad figured out how to uh, engage on Instagram? Mom, hope so. All right, next trivia question for three points. Good job, Dada. Dad can type, but I guess he can't engage. He said no, but he was able to type. Hi, baby ball game. Let's give baby ball game an add a girl. One, two, three. Add a girl. Why do ball players win the Roberto Clemente Award? How do you win that? Every year, somebody gets the Roberto Clemente Award. Super Henry said, add a girl. Welcome in, Supreme Sev. It's P.E. We're having, a, we're having a workout, and we're doing trivia. Best hitter, MVP. So I'm going to give it to both Firestone and Nolan Ryan Jr. for being awesome and for being nice. That's really it. How do you win the Roberto Clemente Award for being really nice and being awesome? Simple as that. So Nolan Ryan Jr. is up to seven. Firestone on the board with three. Fantastic. Last year's winner, Carlos Carrasco, he overcame cancer, came back, pitched. Wow, year before that, Anthony Rizzo. He also overcame cancer, and he, uh, he raises a lot of money in Chicago for kids that have cancer. Yadier Molina, Albert Pujols, Clayton Kershaw, and the likes. All righty. I really like that polka dance, but I think it's time to do my favorite dance move at all weddings, the floss karate. And we will do eight of these at each base. On your marks, get set, go. Floss karate, floss, floss karate, floss karate, floss, floss karate. Good thing my shirt is tucked in to my pants. And shoot the basket. Now I'm going to switch. Hip, foot, hip, foot, floss karate. With a little love and some tenderness, we'll walk upon the water, we'll rise above the mess with a little peace and some harmony. We'll take the world together. Kya, floss, kya, hoo, ha, he, yes, and shoot the basket. Last one. Come on, Soto. Knott's Berry Farm, Super Henry, Judge Jr., Lando. Come on, Mr. Accessories, Dinger, Blue Jays fan, Dominator. Done. Giancarlo Stanton, Billy D, Mick Bomber, Firestone, Nolan Ryan Jr., Nala, Ryman, Whew. Captain America. Knott's Berry Farm beat me. Ooh, I love it. Way to go. Now I hear uh, Tina Benton. Okay, dad challenged me to a figure eight how, how to message on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> dad challenged me to figure out how to message on YouTube and you did it. Scholar salute. Is that, um, is that simulation pilot? Alessio is known as the Vancouver guy. There's another new camper, another new nickname, Vancouver guy. This class is really popular in Canada. I love that. Um, Captain America, honesty salute. He did not beat me. Simulation pilot and baby killer whale are in the house as well. Double bicep salute. Yeah, some of you uh, usually tune in on Facebook. Facebook ain't working. But we might not even need to use Facebook anymore. That means my mother-in-law will get to have her phone back. Um, so comment if Facebook is really necessary, and if not, we won't have to use my wife's mom's phone anymore because I got the computer on YouTube, one phone on Instagram, one phone on Facebook. But I think we can just use these two forums. Facebook's just not working. Um, next trivia question, and it's time for a five-pointer. What 
was the nickname of Lou Gehrig. Yeah, everybody uses Instagram. Yeah, that's right, Frank. By the way, Anthony Knott, what's your nickname? Lou Gehrig's nickname, I'm going to take both, Magic and the Iron Horse. So is that Mike Trout and Billy D? Mike Trout and Billy D were the first two. And I missed, I missed it, Mike Trout. Are you Evan Hafar? Is that who the Mike Trout I'm talking to is? As well as Billy D. Five-pointer. Let's go ahead and do another five-pointer. Not Jake. Doing real good, buddy. Again, thank you to everybody who's tuning in for the first time. We've got like six new campers today. Some in Canada. We got Vancouver guy. Um, not Jake. Uh, Mr. Accessories. Uh, love the Tweety Bird. We've also got the the three Jesse clan, and we got to get nicknames for them. Evan Hefar and a boy. Wow, Evan came to my first ever baseball camp down in Orange County when he was five. Now I think he's like 12. Wow, Ireland. We've also got some folks in Ireland. What's your nickname there? How about we call you Miss Ireland? Sound good? Let's give Miss Ireland an add a girl one, two, three. Add a girl. I'm guessing you found out about me through the funniest guy in the world, Connor Moore. Did anybody watch that, by the way, the golf trivia with Connor Moore? That guy can do impersonations of everybody. The president, Tiger Woods, um, Gary Player. He does an epic Matthew McConaughey. Epic, epic. Love it. Global Freeze also in the house. All right, Mrs. Ireland, that's your nickname. Five-point question. What is the name of the song that everybody sings during the seventh inning stretch? Ah, uh, yes. Mrs. Ireland wanted to go to bed because it was like 1 a.m., but you stayed up. I loved it. Mr. Vancouver watched it, uh, but didn't know any of the answers. Penguin and Pickle. Penguin and Pickle, the first ones to get it right, along with Davis Kester. And it's been a while, Davis Kester, so remind me your nickname. Also, Nolan Ryan Jr. right there with a five-pointer for 12. Mr. Accessories, Christian W. I don't know your nickname, Christian W. Um, once again, Penguin and Pickle were the first on Instagram. DK in the house. That's right. So once again, DK and Nolan Ryan. Very good. How many body squats can you do? in 30 seconds. But this is a little foreshadowing for tomorrow. Uh, there's a contest that Lando is doing, one of our players, where you do, do a stuffed animal, folks, and do third, as many, try to do as many body squats as you can in 30 seconds. On your marks, get set, go. One, two, that looks like I'm giving Norman the Heimlich maneuver here. Six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and Lando, maybe you can comment on Instagram or YouTube what the hashtag is here. Because I, I was challenged by Lando to do this, to give my sloth the Heimlich maneuver while I do body squats. And stop. Let me know who your stuffed animal was. Lobster Monsters in the house. boy, Lobster Monster. Um, let's see. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks did it. Global Freeze. Yeah, we got some neighbors. Uh, actually, I think that might be Mrs. Ballgame teaching baby ballgame up there. She's got school. Love it. 
So Blue Jays fan used a PS4 controller. Um, McBomber used a crayon box. Mr. Accessories used Scooby-Doo and did 24. What'd you use, Nala? The hashtag is show us 20. So write this down and you can see it on the YouTube and, and just comment again what the proceeds are going to Lando. Hashtag show us 20 and tag at umps underscore care. It's a really great cause, but I want to make sure I get the wording right. So Lando will tell me. And that was so fun. I want to do it one more time. See if you can beat the number you just got. Nala's using the crayon box. On your marks, get set, go. A little faster, but get on that toilet. There we go. Is Maddox Spring in the house? By the way, Sandlot yesterday was awesome with my good pal Dan Spring. And today, who's at the Sandlot? I met him at the Futures game last year. Nolan Jones plays for the Indians. He is a young stud. He hits bombs. He's going to be at the Sandlot teaching us how to hit like a pro. Five seconds. You don't want to miss that. And stop. Good job. You can put Norman away. So, 62 for Nala, 41 for Firestone. Captain America, what were you holding, Captain America? Mr. Accessories, Judge Jr. used a dinosaur. Love it. Super Henry is holding a J alphabet. Wow. Yeah, Norman does need a haircut. That's correct, Global Freeze. Good point. Get a little water if you need it. Great job, Nala beat her score from last time. Okay, 10-point question. 10-point question. On your marks, get set. What is a golden sombrero? Category is baseball lingo. What's a golden sombrero? It's a baseball term, and, and baseball has its own language. DK, good guess. The correct answer is four strikeouts, and it was Dinger. Dinger with the correct answer with four. Four strikeouts. Golden Sombrero. That puts you up to 13. You are now in the lead, Dinger. Dinger with 13. Nolan Ryan Jr. with 12. We've got Billy D, Mike Trout, and DK with five. Firestone with three. Ryman, Blue Jay, and... Alessio's nickname is Van Mr. Uh, Mr. Vancouver. Mr. Vancouver has one. Ten point question. What is Pete Alonzo's nickname? Pete Alonzo, what's his nickname? DK and McBomber were my first. DK up to 15. McBomber, that gives you 10. His nickname's Polar Bear because he looks like a polar bear. And uh, he's an epic, epic baseball player for the New York Mets. Next 10-point question. He won something last year. It was during the Midsummer's Classic. What did he win last year during the Midsummer Classic? He's from Tampa, Florida, says Judge Jr. All right, very nice. I've got a tie. Got a tie here. So it was uh, he won. He won rookie, but I was asking what he won during the 
Midsummer's Classic, which was the home run derby. Uh, Blue Jays fan, DK and Mr. Accessories. DK up to 25, Blue Jays fan up to 11. Mr. Accessories is now on the board with 10. So he won Rookie of the Year, right? But he didn't win that during the Midsummer Classic. The Midsummer Classic, also known as the All-Star Game, um, is when he won the Home Run Derby. I was lucky enough to go to the Home Run Derby. Um, just guess, just for fun, who do you think impressed me the most? Because I got to watch him take BP before. Anthony Knott, you were just underneath. Uh, you were second place on that. You did say it so fast, Anthony Knott. Nolan Ryan Jr.'s got school. Let's give him a let's give him an attaboy one, two, three. Attaboy. And he's actually he's in second place, but hey, scholar salute. DK, you are right with Vladdy Jr. If I had to go second place, um, Gallo. Joey Gallo just effortlessly hits bombs. It's pretty unbelievable. Um, Judge Jr. gave you an attaboy, Nolan Ryan Jr. Very good. All right, let's do our last bit of a workout here, last one, and it's real simple, five burpees, oh my lanta, I know we don't enjoy it, but this is how we get stronger, you jump high and then you do a push up, five at each base, come on Frank Stokes, come on Jay Preeti, come on Mrs. Lando, come on Soto, on your marks, get set, go, jump, and burpee. We got this Grandma Squeaky Cheeks, Penguin and Pickle, Global Freeze, Mrs. Ireland, Mr. Vancouver, Blue Jays fan. Come on, Cheese. Come on, Dinger. Come on, DK. Good job, Super Henry. Come on, Giancarlo Stanton and Dominator. Come on, Nala. Come on, Tweety Bird. Come on, Knott's Berry Farm. Nolan Ryan Jr., if you're still in the house. Woo! Captain America! Whoa, baby! Woo! And I'm done. Did anybody beat me? Billy D beat me. McBomber beat me. Judge Jr. beat me. Firestone, Soto, oh, Captain America, Mr. Accessories, Nala. Oh, my Lanta is correct. DK. Whew. So, take that deep breath out the mouth. This is your two minutes of what a ball player does. Then we come back and finish our trivia contest. What is what a ball player does? We do awesome things like the Roberto Clemente Award. Be nice, be respectful, clean your room, make your bed, do something awesome for two minutes. Go. Meet you back here in 120 seconds. Whenever you're doing something awesome and somebody's like, hey, why are you doing that? Now you know what to say. It's what a ball player does. Oh, that's right, Pickle and Penguin. You are correct. What was it? Was it a one-pointer or a three-pointer? Because now I remember the, uh, the question. Or was it a five-pointer? Five. Good job, Pickle and Penguin. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me.
and let me know what activity you are doing. Nala's got the broom. Global Freeze is helping out. I bet Super Henry's cleaning up the toys. Captain America put away his toys. That's right. Good honesty right there. Mr. Accessory says, good job, everyone. Sportsmanship salute. I love it. Lobster Monster made the bed. Bicep salute, Lobster Monster. Soto's helping out dad. I love it. You got 15 seconds remaining. Wow. Blue Jays fan says if he wins, he's giving his prize to the second place winner. And stop. Very nice job. Come on back as we finish up our trivia contest. I'm sure you feel better about yourself after that. Team Jesse brought some waters. Outstanding. You know what? We cut our cable downstairs, so I haven't been able to see any ESPN uh, uh, Korean baseball yet. But I'm going to watch a little bit of uh, highlights, DK, because I do want to see it. Where can I watch it, DK? YouTube? Nice job. Mike Trout, Sportsmanship Salute. Super Henry, help dad sweep. Love it. Um, Ryman. That's right, Ryman. Sportsmanship. Ryman, you did say it, but somebody said it before you. Uh, but you do have one point. You do have one point, Ryman. All right, gang. Jalissa Jordan, hello. What's the, what's the nickname there, Jalissa? Simulation pilot cleaning the mirrors. Baby killer whale loaded the laundry. That's what a ball player does. Also some dishwasher loading going on. Love it. Thank you to this class um, for donating on Venmo. Only if you can, a few bucks. A lot of you have. Some have mailed uh, uh, $5 bills. If you got a couple of bucks, it keeps us going. Uh, and, and I appreciate you tuning in. I'd rather you tune in and not pay than not tune in at all. Uh, but if you have a few bucks, thank you. And a lot of you have. Soto donated some steaks. That's right. Donated steaks, some food, and we're going to eat them tonight. Let's give Soto an attaboy in Missouri. One, two, three, attaboy. Love it. Lastly, uh, I'm wearing this Easton today because at the trivia tonight at 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern, giving away some Easton batting gloves. That's right. We've got a, a fun trivia night. 5 Pacific and 7.30. That's 8 and 10.30. Um, and then don't forget about Sandlot. Nolan Jones, he was at the Futures game. If you don't know what the Futures game is, look it up. He's going to be one of the rising stars. He might be playing for the – Indians in the show next year, and he might be hitting 50 home runs. On your marks, it is now 25 point question time. 25 point question What class number is this? Quarantine PE class number what? For 25 points. Way to go, Pickle and Penguin, Super Henry, and Firestone. Pickle and Penguin up to 30. Super Henry, that gives you 25. Firestone up to 28. This is class number 54. How about that? Uh, Nala's got to go for a Zoom class. Let's give her an add a girl. One, two, three. Add a girl. Great job. Soto just behind, as well as Mr. Accessories, Dinger, Ryman, DK. Tomorrow will be 55, uh, Ryman. Good job, Captain America. Joey, 
Uh, what's your nickname, Joey Bian? We've got a lot of new nicknames, and I'm loving it. Uh, Picklin Penguin, that was really fast on Instagram. Next 25-point question. What do you say when you're stretching and your back pops? At my quarantine PE class and all my baseball camps, if our back pops, what do we say? Pickle and Penguin once again with, oh, my, Lanta. I've also got a Soto and a Firestone. I've got a Soto. I've got a Firestone, and I've got a Pickle and Penguin again. 55, 25 for Soto, and Firestone up to 53. So at the moment, Pickle and Penguin with 55, Firestone with 53, Soto and Super Henry, and DK with 25. We got some 13s and 12s out there as well. All right. What is the only continent where they have never played golf? Love it. Antarctica is the answer. I've got Pickle and Penguin, Firestone, and DK. were my top three, Antarctica. They've never played golf in Antarctica. Next trivia question, who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Who sat down and wrote it? My first Jefferson was Super Henry. Super Henry with the answer, and that gets you to 50 there, Super Henry. His name's Thomas Jefferson. Next question. He was president number what? Thomas Jefferson was president number what? Billy D says, I don't know, I'm Canadian. That's a good point. Correct answer is third. He was the third U.S. president, and I got McBomber, and I've got Firestone and Lobster Monster. Lobster Monster. 25. I've got Firestone up to 103, and McBomber up to 35. Who is the... Only pitcher that is Canadian in the Hall of Fame. Who's the only Canadian pitcher that's a Hall of Famer? Burt Blylevin, a good guess. He's from the Netherlands. Goose Gossage, good guess. He's not Canadian. Lobster Monster is my first... Uh, Lobster Monster is my first Ferguson Jenkins. Lobster Monster with another 25-pointer. That gives you 50. Um, for my Canadians down there, where are you? Uh, there it is. Uh, Blue Jays fan just behind him. Uh, what about Mr. Vancouver? Um, the answer is Ferguson Jenkins. He's from Canada. Now, we close it out with three minutes of 50 point questions. Three minutes of 50 point questions. And I was looking at YouTube, McBomber, so I look at both and YouTube had the, uh, had the answer before anything on Insta. 50 point question. Who was the first person to throw out the first pitch at a baseball game? Who was the first person to throw out the inaugural first pitch at a baseball game. 50 points. 
We've got a minute and 30 seconds left before Instagram times us out. I see Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, President Clinton. It is a president. And ZV Slugger is the first to say it. William Taft. ZV Slugger. With a 50-pointer. Next question. Who coined... On your marks, get set. Here we go. I'm going to go back. With one minute left. Actually, we'll go 30 seconds. Um... What is the name of the person who went by the nickname El Mago? El Mago. That's the nickname. What's the real name? Dinger is correct with Javi Baez. Dinger, that gets you to 63. Last question. What is my middle name? That's the last question for 50 points. What's my middle name? We have 13 seconds left on Instagram. I'll hop back on on Instagram. How about that? My middle name is not Albert Pujols. We're going to log back in on Instagram right now. I love it. Nobody knows what my middle name is. Really? Uh, but I, I got John James, I don't know, baseball, Albert Pujols. I got a lot. In my hand. So Firestone, we're going to have to do another one because they got logged out on Instagram, but Doug is correct. James Douglas Lowe. It's also my dad's name and my mom's, my dad's mom's maiden name. Third fastest thought my nick my middle name was Moneyball. That's great. So, folks, the answer was Douglas, uh, but we didn't count that one. So this will be our last one. 50-point question, Billy D. Uh, and right now, Firestone's got 103, Pickle and Penguin with 80, um, Dinger with 63. And uh, what we're going to do is, is give out two. Uh, I'll send out two packs of baseball cards, first and second place. So anybody can win this one. Want to make sure that Pickle and Penguin are in the house. Uh, Hayfar's back in the house. Everybody's ready to go. Okay, here we go. Last trivia question. I've got it. Ozzie Smith hit a game-winning home run for the Cardinals. Jack Buck said something, and this was in the NLCS, what did Jack Buck say when Ozzie Smith hit a very famous home run for the Cardinals to beat the Mets in an NLCS? Hey, Jesse and the boys got to go. We'll see ya. The answer is go crazy, folks. First person to get that was Soto. Um, he said, we will see you tomorrow night when Kirby Puckett hit a home run in the World Series. But when Ozzie Smith hit a home run uh, to beat the Mets, he said, go crazy, folks. Go crazy. And the funny thing about Ozzie Smith, he didn't hit a lot of home runs. He was a defensive specialist. He also learned how to switch hit at, uh, at college at San Luis Obispo. So Soto gets to 75. Our winner is Firestone. Our second place finisher is Pickle and Penguin. Uh, so, hey, I know where you guys live, and I've got to owe you another pack of baseball cards. Go crazy, folks. Great job. Um, make sure you tune in to Sandlot today. It's a Major League Baseball player coming to teach you about baseball, Instagram and YouTube. And then two trivia contests tonight. You win some Easton base batting gloves. And uh, in, in our 7.30 game, you win some war stick batting gloves with our main man, Cameron. Thank you all for tuning in.
to class 54. You're welcome, Dinger. You got it, Billy D. See you, Blue Jays. See you at trivia tonight, Mike Trout. That's right. Blue Jays fan will be going live with me for some Canadian trivia. Mr. Vancouver needs some new gloves. See you at trivia, ZV Slugger. Good job, Pickle and Penguin. Great job, McBomber. All Super Henry and Frank, Judge Jr. We'll see you third fastest. You're welcome, Mr. Accessories. See you, Captain America and Soto. See you, Baby Killer Whale and Simulation Pilot. See you, Dinger. Go crazy, folks. Go crazy. See you, ZV Slugger. You're welcome.